Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's short video, which will be my October TBR. I feel like whenever people make TBR videos, they're either normal or too long. Well, this TBR is going to be quite small because October. I am doing my spooky season spectacular and each week I will have a TBR that is based on the theme of the week that I'm reading which is ghosts, haunted houses, and thrillers. So I'm not going to include any of those weekly TBRs in this video um, because I want them to just be in the vlog that would be way too big a list. So this is going to be a very small list of books I hope to read this month outside of those weekly TBRs for the Spooky Season Spectacular. Maybe some of these books are for other readathons, some of these books are just books that I want to read during the fall time, or are other spooky books that I want to read this month, is what I feel like. None of those books will coincide with the Spooky Season Spectacular except one. And that would be Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin. This, I was not planning on reading it during the Witches Week, even though it is a witchy book, just because it's not, like, spooky or Halloween-y, so I wasn't going to do it, although this book did come out recently and I do really want to read it. I was going to read it outside of it, but like, in November or something, but then my book club had this as one of the top picks for our November book, so I thought, you know, we'll just put it on the TBR so that... If it is chosen as the book for my book club, then I'm already reading it. If not, I am reading it for Witchy Week, but I'm not going to specifically try and focus on getting it done during my Witchy Week. I'm just, so it's on this TBR, but it does kind of coincide. Yeah, I'm super excited for this. It's by Rachel Griffin. It is her second book. It's the idea that witches' is magic is very environmentally focused, and I am just so excited. Her last one was so atmospheric. I just cannot wait for this one. And then I have The Daughter of Dr. Moreau. I took the dust jacket off because I did start reading it and I don't like reading hardcovers with their dust jackets on because I don't want to um, like bend or accidentally rip or just like I'm accidents happen and so I want to minimize accidents by not having it on. Anyway, but The Daughter of Dr. Moreau is by Sylvia Moreno-Garcia. This is actually my signed copy. I love it so much. Um, and so this is a reimagining of Dr. Moreau, but from his daughter's point of view in Mexico in the 1800s. I am very much enjoying this so far. It is just another spooky book. It's a gothic book that I thought was perfect for this season. So that's why I am hoping to read it slash finish it. Moving on, the next book I have is Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. I have been reading one book from this series every year around Halloween. At first it was unintentional and now it's kind of intentional because I bought this earlier in the year so I could have read it earlier, but no, because it's Halloween. -y. I'll be reading this and then next year I'll read the last book in a series, although I do really want to um, actually read her new trilogy, Kingdom of the Wicked, but we are following our main character in this one, and she is studying to be like a mortician, kind of. Um, she studies like dead bodies, and she ends up solving murder mysteries sometimes with her best friend. I'm just, I'm just so intrigued. I've loved her first two books, so I'm really excited to pick this one up as well. Now for all the books that I don't own, that I will have that I have as audiobooks or will have as audiobooks at some point throughout the month. Um, so those are Killers of a Certain Age. This is hilarious. I'm pretty sure it's just like an old lady book group who end up becoming killers or something like that. I am intrigued. I thought it was adorable. Or it sounds so interesting. So I'm going to give that one a try. I helped read The Hacienda, which is a book I've seen a lot of people talking about as it recently came out. I think it was like a book of the month book or something like that. So I'm going to give that one a try. I feel like it's going to give me very um, Mexican Gothic vibes again. So I, I am intrigued. I have the audiobook for The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. I also have her other book, White Smoke, um, that I will be reading for the Haunted House Week. But I also have 
uh, the weight of blood, which I believe is going to be her prom queen thrasher or slasher. So, I don't know, I look forward to a good slasher. I, I read a good slasher last year. I'm excited to read a good slasher this year. And then the last book that I want to read in October is not spooky season related at all, like pretty much all of these books have been. Um, it's actually Over the Woodward Wall by Deborah A. Baker, which is the pen name for Shauna McGuire. This is a very short, cute, middle grade portal fantasy series, the first one. I mean, the cover just looks so autumn, so I really want to read it. Yeah, that's kind of why. Most of these books are obviously spooky season, but that was not initially the intent, but that's kind of what it ended up being. So yeah, just real quick, those are all the books I want to read this month. That's it, pure and simple. Uh, we'll see how many I actually get to because I am going to be so focused on those weekly TBRs. I've got somewhere between two and four books for every week, and that's already more than I normally read per week. So I will be focusing on these when I either finish the TBR or if I need a break from the weekly TBR, I'll read them. But because quite a few of these are audiobooks and a lot of the books that I am reading for the Spooky Season Spectacular, I own physically. Also the fact that whenever I have a chance to listen to an audiobook, like when I'm cleaning or if I'm driving a long distance or my Saturday shifts at work when I work alone and put in a headphone even though I'm not supposed to and listen to audiobooks for that eight hour shift, um, I, I very much love that. So I can generally read one to two books um, on those days. So it'll probably be the books I listen to at work on Saturdays, but don't tell my boss. I just have one, two, three, four, five, six, what, like seven, six or seven books that I want to read this month, which is my normal goal for a TBR. Normally for a monthly TBR, I give myself six books because I'm such a mood reader that I will read more than six books, but I don't want them all to be on a TBR. So there we go. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you are hoping to read in October. Are you reading spooky season books? What books? Are you reading fall books? What books? Are you just reading whatever your heart desires and not paying attention to the season or what's going on around you? Which, kudos to you if you're doing that. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. I have bookish social media linked down below that you can follow me there on various platforms and see like what I'm reading, what I'm doing, etc. and so forth. I post videos on Sundays and Wednesdays twice a week, so you should subscribe. If you like bookish content, you should subscribe. Anyway, till I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.